glad you called them. I'll be honest, I'm pretty juiced. We're getting back together. Yeah, I know. I mean, I already have the creative juices flowing, man. I mean, check out this song I've been working on. Pretty cool, huh? That's catchy. That is, that is catchy. Uh, but I heard what you're playing, and uh, just a thought, like, I like what you're doing, uh, but what about if we did it like this? The greatest hits uh, we call Positron Emission, Volume 1. Um, I'm excited about it. Um, we've been throwing on a couple new tracks that we just wrote over the last 15 years. For me, getting back together, it's uh, it's not about playing the stadium shows. It's, it's you know, it's, it's about the fans, uh, the music. The phone rang and I woke up and and it was the band had reached a consensus in the night while I was asleep that we wanted to, to get it out there and we wanted to take the Miami Vice soundtrack head on and not look back. A lot of people don't know it, but we actually invented the robot. Well, yeah, it was mostly me. Angelo just came up with making it jerky, so you be the judge. Yeah, you know, times have changed. Technology has changed. You'll notice around in this studio there are no instruments. Um, and I, we'll, we'll, we'll add those in post. can't leave this hotel room trash. It's not what Positron is about. Where's where's the paper caps that came with the glasses? We gotta put those back on. Hey, did Jesse get the sheets back from the cleaners? I wanna put them back on the beds clean. After, uh, you know, the whole Miami Vice thing, we were all reevaluating where we were at that point, and uh, I definitely slipped back into alcoholism. Uh, Jesse, I know, began building fighting robots, and Jeff tried to assassinate President Reagan, unsuccessfully, thankfully. Uh, I guess it was some weird attempt to impress John Hinckley. It was an alcohol-fueled drive through the liquor store. Um... We had opened for Taco, and we, I, we knew something was wrong on stage. And then afterwards, I had talked to Adam and I said, you know, are you feeling okay? And he replied, I'm coked out of my mind. I love coke. And I'm not talking about the drink, Pepsi Daddy. They made a few financial decisions that were pretty poor. I mean, when you only make $7,000 a year, every penny tends to count. Professionally speaking, the drugs really started getting in the way. I would say the low point was when D. Snyder called up Cena and, and asked him to, to slow down. It's kind of depressing because after the band broke up, you know, I, uh, I auditioned for Hollywood Squares and uh, that didn't go too well, but uh... You know, I lost a foot in Desert Storm. Oh my god, did you have something? Uh, can I you sign some, can oh you autograph? Yeah, yeah, you can have my autograph. Oh, oh my cool. god! I, I love dancing on the ceiling. What? That, that, that's a Lionel Richie song. Oh, I w we thought you were him. Dude, it's an I-9 form. Yeah, that is a catchy tune. Well, you, you know, it's, it's not something that, that ever gets easy to deal with. It's a crazy time for me, the band. Yeah. I got a parent conference meeting. Good.